I'm gonna take you through an ankle dribbling series and how to really dribble. Why do we dribble? Um, it's going to one first, activate the posterior chain. Because you're landing on your heel, which occurs during top speed mechanics and even during acceleration, the heel does touch down. You don't want to lead with the heel, but the heel will touch down on the ground. What this is also then going to do is it's going to get that cyclical motion that's going to occur during top speed. So when we talk about cyclical, what you're going to first start doing is just walking through it. You're going to work on riding a mini bike. And you're only going to rotate and create a revolution through the ankle joint. So it's only going to occur through here. Right, so literally, you just start out like this. Okay. Once the athlete has a grasp on that, you can then start increasing the velocity. So you can start jogging through it. And if you see, I'm dorsiflex and I'm trying to initiate the heel on the ground. I'm not going ball to foot, right? Plantar flex, I'm here the whole entire time. And once you have that down, there's two options. You can elongate the cycle, or you can keep it for frequency and keep it tight. I'm gonna show you how to keep it tight and keep it for frequency. And now we can create more of a horizontal projection.